people passing by trying to have their relaxation came with the Himalaya check the view behind me what an awesome so peaceful out here guys right after the Manas journey we came back to our local now I'm at the Manas jungle beside it's fencing and I see some peacocks hanging around with their buddies let me zoom it up for you guys those are the peacocks hello hello guys welcome back to my channel and long time no see I was busy I had to do some work I had exams so couldn't do the vlog guys so it's already evening now and uh, I'm about to go to the jungle just to hang around I got bored at home what to do what not to it's too much boring out here we couldn't make the blokes but today it's time to get out and get some relaxation let's go guys I have my bike here on the grass let's pull her out I hope it has battery because most of the times my bike's battery get low I'm hoping it's not battery low it was almost battery low but I started to self start it by long pressing it on the switch came to my friend's house to pick him up he was going alone it's boring so guys yesterday it was happy holy and people played the holy and they left the trials at the ground you can see here red holy green holy right now we came here in the kibazar to get some beverages in this restaurant and bar it is himalaya restaurant and bar so we were searching for some kind of beverages but it was not available here so have to head to another bar and restaurant hey guys finally arrived in the jungles all covered with vegetation what a peaceful place and those houses are rice mill and that is the abundant rice mill before in 90s the rice were milled at that house and now it's changed they shifted to another place it is a old ancient btr area this property belongs to the central government the people from this area they don't own this lands these are all from the government and right next to the pedophile land there's all jungle there are no boundaries animals trespass under the human territory at night time I see some people bringing their calves and cows from the paddy fields because it's evening now the sun is about to set and there's SSB camp protecting the human territory from the animals they are in the corner within those houses and ponds right there all belong to the central government even the cows and humans and all kinds of animals they like to hang around on those fields people are not allowed to hunt here if they hunt they will be locked you can rent those lands in exchange you have to give the government some of your harvested goodies if you are rented just two of us came here me and my buddy the rest all of the friends are in the puja in holy puja but we felt boring at home so we came here i parked my bike right there near the pond hello guys welcome back it's another day and afternoon me and one of my buddy heading towards manas just to hang around there to check out its beautiful scenery and guys now we in a hurry mode we have to go as soon as possible because it's already noon now
Hello guys. Now I'm at the Manas jungle. Beside it's fencing. And I see some peacocks uh, hanging around with their buddies. Let me zoom it up for you guys. Those are the peacocks. My camera is not that good, but I hope you can see it. Looks amazing. These are all jungles. We won't be going inside the jungle because we need an entry fee to get inside the jungle with a uh, safari car. So don't have the money for that. It's 3000 per person. It's expensive. I'm just beside the jungle, beside those fencing you see here in the road and watching the peacocks. I can only see peacocks. There's no electricity in those fencing at that time. They own the electricity lively at night. Tigers are in the depth of the jungle. Tigers can't come near the fencing because they are afraid of the forest guards. Guys, we are getting to see with our naked eyes some deers and peacocks. Camera is not that good. Right behind the cow, there's a deer grazing. And the deers are grazing around. He saw us already. And now he's hiding. Right next to the fencing, these are all the villages of the humans. These fencings are not connected with the wires in the daytime. It is connected with the electricity at night time. Because uh, those forest guards, they guard right next from the fence in the daytime. Hey guys, check this out. Those tea estates covered with thousands of acres or plantation everywhere. Right next to those estates, there's a tea factory. And I'm assuming that is the one. Those tea plantations were planted by the Adivasis. They actually belong to the Charkan, but they were brought by the Britishers to plant those tea leaves as a lever. And now they settled here in the Assam and their population is almost like 60-70,000 I guess. They actually belong from the Jharkhand but they settled down here in the BTR areas. Some tea has many health benefits and it is exported to the world in many countries. They say that uh, Assam tea is the best better than the Darjeeling and Kerala ones. Smoke tea estate beside the road. It's already plugged. It has been sold to the consumers. The road is not that five star rated one. It's average, you just ride at low speeds. Hey guys, traveling from Manas. We have arrived, Rupohi. <laughs> Here is the soap that we refilled our bike for half a liter of petrol. It was 60 rupees, so expensive guys, only for a small half liter of bottle. I've already told you in my previous videos that the fuel price in India is increasing. In Bhutan it's only 77, but it stays Almost it stays a line of 70 in the Bhutan, below 80 rupees, approx. But in India it's too much expensive. So here is the bazaar of Rupahi. With an English accent it will be called as Rupahi. Near the Salvari bazaar, we couldn't find a fuel there in the Salvari. So that is why we came to Rupahi to refill the bike. 
at this store right next to the street and, and beside this they have a pharmacy the guy right there is selling buckets and stuffs and small baskets and guys they have a gym right next to the streets and their motto is no pain no gain I like that Salvari fitness gym if any guys watching from Salvari you can join this gym you'll be healthy hey guys we are in Lucky Bazaar at this small store that sells samosas and palatas a lot of snakes we ordered some chicken soups to carry at the picnic spot so I think it will take like 10 minutes or maybe 5 minutes a few minutes ago we ordered already we came back now, now let's wait so we bought our own bottles <laughs> to fill with the soup so I think we won't be taking out the bottles because it will melt down the bottle it will squeeze down so we have to carry in the small poltin bag and that brother right there cooking some chow mein I asked those kids they had samosa this these kids are locals I almost forgot the helmet guys but my memory is powerful so I didn't forget it here is the lucky bazaar that I always buy meats and stuff today I won't be having meats because I'm vegetarian today and you can see all those women right here selling vegetables some dried fish that guy right there cooking a cabbage to mix with the chow mein hey guys check the view behind me what an awesome so peaceful out here guys right after the manas journey we came back to our local so peaceful even if it is summer then you can come here enjoy the water streams and have your bath or maybe have a cold beer by sitting at the stone of the water stream here's my bike i haven't washed it for many days i'll wash it after five or eleven days maybe but now it's too clean to be cleaned people passing by trying to have their relaxation came with the Himalaya no it's not Himalaya it's ESD it's almost similar with Himalaya ESD 350 I don't know maybe 400 cc to have fun at the streams that tree is a Juzub tree but the season of the Juzub has passed already no more fruits right there at the trees Juzub fruit is very tangy and it's good for diabetes and for burning your face that guy right there already came after having his bath people when they come here they always bring their towels and soaps to have relaxation and have a bath 